The Boston Bruins will be without two key players for tonight's game against New Jersey, but to be honest, they should still have no problem taking care of the Devils. We'll talk about who's out, who's in, and preview this game on a brand new episode of Locked On Boston Bruins. Your Locked On Bruins, your daily podcast on the Boston Bruins, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. What is up, Bruins fans, and welcome back to the Locked On Boston Bruins podcast. I'm your host, Ian McLaren, and this is a daily show where we discuss all things spoke to be. Today is Wednesday, December 13th, and I want to thank you so, so much for making Locked On Bruins part of your day, free and available on your favorite podcast app and on YouTube, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your favorite team every day. And today's episode is brought to you by Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code Locked On NHL for $20 off your first purchase. The Bruins are in action tonight. In New Jersey, taking on the Devils in a game that will be on TNT at 8 p.m. A bit of a later start. And the Bruins will be without two key players for this game. Before we get into that, a quick reminder. You can find the podcast on social media at Locked NHL Bruins. And you can find me, my hockey thoughts and dad jokes at Ian C. McLaren. So who are the two players missing? Well, both Pavel Zaka and Charlie McAvoy did not practice on Tuesday. And although McAvoy skated ahead of practice, he will not be available for tonight's game against the New Jersey Devils in Newark. Uh, Both players were injured in recent games. And Zaka McAvoy, not quite game ready. Uh, They're considered day-to-day, possible for Friday, but definitely out for tonight. And with those two big pieces out of the lineup, the Bruins will be focusing on a team approach, next man up. That's their mentality when somebody gets injured. And head coach Jim Montgomery said, by everybody contributing, everybody digging in, that's how they're going to compete. He said, quote, you don't replace one of your top two centers. And you don't replace your top D-men with an individual. It's got to be a concerted effort by everybody to eat more minutes. And they've got to do the job. End quote. <clears throat> now, I talked yesterday about how Jesper Bokvist had been recalled from the Providence Bruins to take Pavel Zaka's spot in the lineup, perhaps. Uh, he rotated in and out on the fourth line with Oscar Steen at practice. So we'll see whether Bokvist actually gets in. What an advantage he may have is that Jim Montgomery said uh, he's been playing well in Providence, but it's also New Jersey. And that's where he played to start his career. And he always finds that guys dig in and want to show the other team why they could or should have kept them. He's very versatile. He can play anywhere. That's another reason. Uh, so he's not determined yet whether Bokvist will play, but he had a good practice. It'll be three of Lauko, Beecher, Steen, and Bokvist who will be in the lineup. At the top end, it is Morgan Geeky who's getting a chance to skate alongside Jake DeBrusque and David Posternock in the top six center role vacated by Pavel Zaka. And when Morgan Geeky signed with the Bruins this past offseason, it was because he was going to get a bigger opportunity, perhaps more minutes than he got in Seattle. And now with his injury, it's even more so. Uh, He said yesterday, quote, anytime you get to play with players of their caliber, it's something special. Just trying to go out there and get them the puck in the right spots. We all know what Pasternak can do with it. Just try to get open, create space for him, and create some plays. End quote. Now, why Geeky? Why is he getting this uh, opportunity ahead of Patra or putting Charlie Coyle up on that line with them? 
Jim Montgomery said it's because he's a big horse that can occupy middle of the ice and drive the net. He wins battles, not only one-on-one -on -one battles, but against two people because of his strength and his tenacity on pucks. It worked in game against the Coyotes when Zaka left early. And it's much easier for guys to do it in game than when they have two days to prepare. So all of a sudden you're starting, you've got to start on time. Like you played in that previous game. It's a bigger challenge and it's a wonderful opportunity that geeky is being given here. And he's got to seize the opportunity and that's what they're looking for. Seize the opportunity that is presented and, uh, and make good on it. You know, it's a, a situation where geeky, you want a more prominent role. You want a bigger opportunity than you got with the Seattle Kraken. Well, here is your chance to show that you can play these big minutes and you can play with some prime players. And uh, he's going to get every opportunity to do so here playing with David Pasternak and uh, Jake DeBrusque. Now, in the win on Saturday against Arizona, Geeky skated in a uh, almost season high 17 minutes and 30 seconds of ice time. He got the primary assist on Jake, or sorry, on David Posternock's goal that made it 5 3 in the third period. Jake DeBrusque getting the secondary assist on that one. And he also uh, recorded a couple of shots on goal. So he made good on that opportunity, and we'll see if they can carry that over here tonight against the New Jersey Devils, a game that we will preview uh, later on in the podcast. Coming up, we're going to discuss Matt Potra. A lot has been talked about him lately, the benching against Arizona despite Pavel Zaka being out, and how he's responding to, yeah, kind of being. Uh, called out by Jim Montgomery as perhaps a guy who needs some work closing out games. We'll talk about Matt Potra and his continuing positive attitude here as the podcast continues. There's nothing cooler than getting tickets to a sports event in your stocking at Christmas. And game time is the perfect way to do that. You can see the view from your seats before you buy, so you know exactly what to expect when you arrive. So if you're giving a gift, you can show the person where they're going to be sitting. They have all-in prices, which show your total up front, so you know you're getting a great deal without hidden fees. You can buy tickets in as few as two taps. And with their game time guarantee, you'll always get the best price. If you find tickets in the same section and row for less, Game Time will credit you 110% of the difference. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code Locked On NHL for $20 off your first purchase. Terms do apply, but again, create an account and redeem code Locked On NHL for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets at the lowest price guaranteed. Thank you so much once again for making Locked On Bruins part of your daily routine, free and available on your favorite podcast app and on YouTube. And also on YouTube, Locked On has launched the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel. Locked On Sports Today is here for you 24-7, covering the top sports stories of the day with local experts and national show hosts covering every league. Go to Locked On Sports today on YouTube and subscribe to the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel. Let's talk about Matt Potra for a moment. Potra has been dealing with perhaps the first bit of adversity in his pro career. Healthy scratch last Thursday night against the Buffalo Sabres, and he logged a season-low 826 of ice time watching the majority of the third period from the bench in Saturday's game against the Arizona Coyotes. I talked uh, a couple days ago about how I thought Patra needs to be out there in those situations if he's going to learn how to manage late game situations down the stretch when the games are going to mean 
more. Acknowledging that he is only 19 years old. It's a long season. There's ups and downs. And he is remaining positive uh, through it. And he and head coach Jim Montgomery have had some meetings and chats this week. And Montgomery said, you know, he's a 19-year-old kid that's doing really good things to help the Bruins be 18-5. and five, But there's going to be struggles, as there are for everybody. And Montgomery pointed to Potra's game management or kind of lack thereof as a reason he opted to bench him uh, for players who know how to win games. And Potra admitted, you know, he's always been a kind of guy who likes to make plays offensively, maybe take a few risks, but there's a time and a place for that. And as it gets later into the game, he wants coaches to trust him and put him out there. So he's got to be able to simplify his game, put pucks in deep when it's needed and when they have a late lead. Not trying to do too much, get too fancy, just simplify things, get the puck in deep and um, do what you need to in order to help win the game. He did have a costly turnover that resulted in a Coyotes goal on Saturday, but he also set up Danton Heinen for a pretty important goal the eventual game winner after winning a puck battle along the boards in front of the Bruins bench and that's kind of the dichotomy the Bruins are working with right now he's a sharp offensive mind very smart hockey player but not quite as well-rounded responsibly with the puck as they would like and Montgomery said they're trying to impress upon him how much they believe in him, how much he has to continue to grow at the same time. Those things are intertwined. You know, you've made the NHL at 19, but if you want to have a long, successful career, uh, you have to have some open and honest conversations and perhaps hear some hard truths about how uh, your game is or is not progressing. Now, it's a big step up from the OHL where you play on the weekends, limited travel. Um, That's one of the reasons why they had that scheduled day off for Patra, just to ease his um, load a little bit, make sure he's not getting overtaxed. And again, Montgomery talked to him, talked to John Beecher even, And just reiterate it, it's a long season. There's going to be ups and downs for everyone. When you're in practice, try to do the right things and translate into what you're going to do in the game. Um, He's also, Montgomery is reminding Patra to, yeah, stay positive, to keep a smile up. That youthful energy is infectious and... He brings that to the locker room. There's guys that have been around for 10, 15 years who, you know, sometimes things get a bit stale or or you need a little extra boost. Patra at the moment is able to uh, supply that. And again, it's not a major red flag or a warning that perhaps he's hitting a wall or can't cut it. It's just, yeah, he's young. There's learning curves still. Despite making the NHL, uh, you can't rest on your laurels. And Patra will be on the third line against the New Jersey Devils, playing alongside James Van Riemsdyk and Danton Heinen, with Charlie Coyle uh, playing on the second line with Brad Marchand and Trent Frederick. So a bit of a change there with Coyle and Marchand being reunited, Van Riemsdyk being bumped down to the third line with Patra and Heinen. Patra also got some reps as the center on the second power play unit alongside Van Riemsdyk, Coyle, uh, with Hampus Lindholm and Matt Grizzlick on the back end with Kevin Shattenkirk being the quarterback for the first power play unit in the absence of Charlie McAvoy, uh, Ian Mitchell, Mason Lorai, getting into the lineup in the absences of 
uh, McAvoy and Derek Forbort. That's the outlook uh, for tonight's game against the Devils, a game that we'll preview here coming up as the podcast continues. Every night around the NHL brings all sorts of possibilities. David Pasternak can record a hat trick. Jeremy Sweeman can record a shutout. And you can win big by playing daily fantasy hockey on Sleeper, the official daily fantasy app of the Locked On NHL Network. Sleeper is our number one choice for daily fantasy sports. Because with Sleeper, you can win big in daily fantasy hockey contests. All you have to do is pick whether studs like Connor McDavid, Sidney Crosby will record more or less on their sleeper projections for goals, assists, plus, minus, and more in a given game. You can win 100 times your bet on sleeper by correctly predicting the outcome of eight player stats. Use promo code LOCKDOWNNHL to get up to a $100 match on your first deposit. Terms and conditions do apply. That's code LOCKDOWNNHL. See Sleeper's terms of use for details and locational availability. Again, you can win 100 times your money playing daily fantasy hockey with Sleeper. So start paying attention and nail your picks so you can start winning big. Bruins Devils tonight. I believe earlier I said 8 p.m. It's actually a 7.30 p.m. start on TNT. And it's the first meeting of the season between these two teams. They'll play again in a couple weeks on December 30th. The New Jersey Devils come into this one with a record of 14, 11, and 1. And it's a bit of a disappointing start for a team that had a very good season last year up there with some of the best in the Eastern Conference. Right now, they are outside of the playoff picture. Two points back of the Washington Capitals, Carolina Hurricanes, and Tampa Bay Lightning in the race for the second wildcard spot. And a big reason for that is their team defense has been pretty atrocious. They are allowing 3.62 goals per game, which is 31st in the NHL. So... The Bruins should be able to get some pucks past either Vitek Vanacek or Akira Schmid, whoever is starting in net. They both have sub uh, 900 save percentages, Vanacek at 879 to be exact. Now, they do have the ability to put put the puck in the net. They have a fourth ranked offense, 3.54. That's led, of course, by uh, Jack Hughes, who I believe is still leading the league in points per game. He's fallen off a bit after a otherworldly start over the last five games. It's Jesper Bratt, actually, who's got seven points, four goals, and three assists to lead the team in all those categories. Pasternak has eight points over his last five games with Marshawn scoring five goals. Pasternak with those five assists. Uh, We could see Jeremy Swayman back in net after a two game break with an illness, or it could be Linus Almar getting his rare third straight start. Uh, Jim Montgomery on Tuesday was mum as to who was going to play. Special teams wise, New Jersey Devils have a pretty awful penalty kill, ranked 27th at 75.3, but they do have the NHL's best power play at 32.6. Dougie Hamilton is out with an injury, so he won't be able to help power that, but they have uh, Simon Nemich, who's a very highly touted rookie who's able to step in. Now the Bruins, of course, have an excellent penalty kill. They rank first in that category as well, so it'll be a big test for their penalty killing unit, Sans Forbort, to go up against this pretty formidable power play unit that the um, Devils can deploy. Bruins are 5-4-1 over their last 10. 6-4 are the Devils in their last 10, so neither team is really coming in super hot here. Uh, and it should be a game that the Bruins are able to win because of the very poorest goaltending that the Devils have. 
They're playing without Dougie Hamilton, one of their best defensemen. Obviously, they can score with the best of them. Hughes, like I mentioned, 33 points in 21 games. Brat with 32 points through 26 games. Uh, so it will be a big test for the Bruins' defense without McAvoy and Forbort. It'll be a big test for their penalty killing. But if they can, like Potra was saying, keep things simple, get pucks in deep, and get pucks on net, they should have a good chance of beating uh, the Devils here in this one. 7.30 p.m., and uh, we will have a full recap of this one on tomorrow's episode of Locked On Boston Bruins. Thank you so much for joining me today, friends. I hope you're all having a great week, taking care of yourselves, taking care of each other, and we'll talk to you again here tomorrow on Locked On Boston Bruins, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your favorite team every single day.